Mrs. Jones The gifts eat marmalade with buttered scones Oh me, oh my At Mr. Lake's what do they munch? What do they munch? What do they munch? What do they munch? Oh me, oh my! At long chilies, what do they crunch? What do they crunch? What do they crunch? What do they crunch? Christmas presents already. Hey, come on. Let's go, guys. Oh, you suppose that one day we'll have such a big pudding? It's easy to see. You still believe in Santa. Hurry up. Somebody will get our corner. You're right. One-eyed Santa. <laughs> it was a ghost, Ricky. No, I saw it with these. It's cold. Let's get going. Huh? 
What do you mean, Liddy Fwed Fwed? Llewellyn Quenta Fit Welsh Artist Boy! Ta da! Wild Animal Tamer! Acrobat? <laughs> Clown? <laughs> Musician? Actor? Ah, oh, to be or not to be, that is the question, the immortal words of William Shakespeare. In other words, I can do anything, save one thing. I never learned to sing. Tomorrow afternoon, I shall entertain with my art some quite distinguished snobs and their little kiddies. <laughs> Words of my master Charles Dickens. A Christmas with no carols is like a mug with no beer. You, huh? you have the voice of an angel. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Come with me to entertain. <sighs> and we'll share the four pounds they'll pay. Four pounds? Yeah, right, there is a Santa Claus. Wow. Oh, pudding! And I'll compose a Christmas carol for Ricky. You do that, boy -o. I shan't invite you all to dinner at my house tonight, for all the residence I have is what you see. However, I will gladly come to your house and spend all of your coins. <laughs> oh, of course! <laughs> <laughs> And now, the dessert. I suggest my speciality souffle with apples and almonds, filled with an array of assorted fruit sherbets drenched in raspberry sauce. Ah. It's not as good as a pudding, but no problem. Uh -huh. hey. The midnight mass is beginning. The midnight mass, you say? In the words of my master Charles Dickens, Christmas with no midnight mass is like a mug with no beer. Charles Dickens said that again? And who's Charles Dickens? The writer of the Hungry Ones. Turn in. Merry Christmas, all! Merry Christmas! Which one's more real? A ghost or Santa Claus? Ha! Neither one. Santa Claus is real only if you're rich. Well, it's nice to know he does exist. Oh, yes, Santa exists all right. And his hatchet. <laughs> Come 
Come on, you're not an angel, carrot face. I'm a carrot face. I'm a carrot Christmas night, little Jesus is asleep. No, it'll never rhyme. Christmas or not, cut out that racket. I'm trying to sleep a little. Oh well. Well, dear Hatchet, do we do it here or do we do it at home? Uh, you're right. First, we'd better discover whether he mentioned to his pals that he saw Santa robbing. The sun rose red and fiery, a sure sign of the continuance of the gale, to run before the sea until it should grow fine, was all that for the present could be done. Lord Byron, Don Juan, Canto Two. There's no storm now, sir. A poet with a million hurricanes in his head, in the world. Of my master Charles Dickens, a boat with no hurricane. Is like a mug with no beer. I've almost finished my carol. You worked on it all night, kept me up. I'm still stuck on the third verse. Sit here, young poet, and sing us the first two verses. Orson! Olivia! Ricky disappeared! His door was broken down! He was taken away! Bring me my sword! Saddle my trusty charger! All right, Lily, this is our pal Ricky, and it's serious! Who took him away? We don't know, but he's gone! If Ricky's not here to sing, no Christmas pudding, I guess. You didn't hear any noise? We did hear a noise, but we didn't do anything. We saw a Santa Claus with a huge sack of toys, but he wasn't very polite. Uh, oh, a Santa Claus? <gasps> the one-eyed man! The Santa Claus with the hatchet got him! What can we do to help? We gotta get Sherlock Holmes. We gotta go and check up on all the Santas. You're right, Boyo. I've an idea. We shall need paint and some brushes. Morning, ma'am. We'd like to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson are not in London at present. Oh. oh. Mr. Sherlock Holmes cannot bear Yule festivities. Much obliged, ma'am. <gasps> Ho, 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 ho! Merry Christmas, fellow Santa! Let us shake hands and show who we are. Brr, cold as an icicle, a nice cup of tea would hit the spot, wouldn't you say? Well, nice seeing you. Till next year! There's another one! Merry Christmas! If he's not here, Ricky's sunk. I'll handle oh. this one. Uh, hello there, officer. We want to see Inspector Lestrade. Chief Inspector Lestrade celebrating Christmas with his family. Come back tomorrow. Santa Claus is going to kill our pal Ricky with a hatchet. Come back tomorrow.
No, isn't that a festive Christmas tape? <laughs> hey, Hatchet. Oh, what an oversight! No Christmas pudding! Well, what a shame! <laughs> Can't have a Christmas and no pudding! <laughs> We'd better go out and buy one! Naturally, we'll grill this little one when we get back. <laughs> See all those cold turkeys? I bought them from a poultry man. And do you know now, he looks just like his turkeys! <laughs> And to be oh, the Santa with the hatchet! No, no, no. Watch out, Inspector Lestrade! Murderer! Hey. Merry Christmas, Chief Inspector! Gift from the force at Scotland Yard! Oh, Merry Christmas, Flanders! Oh. Well, Orson and Olivia! And to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? Oh, uh, well, uh, we... Yeah, uh, no, we I do just... hope you will spend Christmas. There's a Christmas pudding, naturally. A pudding, naturally? Ow! But we came to tell you our old pal Ricky was taken away by a Santa Claus. One with a hatchet. The fiend with a hatchet. We've been after that murderer for three months. With three months and seven days. Right, we'll get him. Let's go. Oh. oh. No, that's us. We're checking Santa's to find the one-eyed man. The gang's at the corner of Whitechapel and High Street. Hey! Willie, quick! Ah, we've already done that one. Name of the law, you're under arrest. Well, he's not the one. He's our new pal, Lily. <laughs> Gwent Dufford. Llewellyn Gwent Dufford. Welsh artist, look you. He's helping us find the one-eyed Santa. Yes, well, no luck. We've seen all sizes of Santas. They all turn out to have two um, eyes. We must be logical. No, oh, my pretty Santa suit's marked. Now you're checked out. Hey, that one. Unmarked! He's got a pudding for tonight! Get ready! Ah! He's the one! Uh, follow him! Since you've got an angel's voice, go ahead, sing a carol. I'd love Christmas carols. After dinner, we shall see what happens to you. Hatchet! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Huh? Chief Inspector Lestrade of Scotland Yard, in the name of the law, you're under arrest. You're right, son. Ah. Chief Inspector with his theories wouldn't succeed. Inspiration's the only guy. Haven't lost your angel voice, I hope. Mm. Me, me, me. No, still got it. 
We've just enough time to make it to the snob's Christmas party. My third verse isn't done. Inspiration! Sing whatever you like. Let's go quick! Ladies and gentlemen and children, on this Christmas day an angel has landed on Earth. Ricky Dripnose is now going to interpret a Christmas carol. Ricky Specially what? composed for Ricky Dripnose and the gang from the docks. A pair of beat up shoes and stinky dried fish bones are hung. On a Christmas tree And make the naked branches sing Noel, Noel, but no pudding Or turkey that's been nicely stuffed It's not too bad, and so who cares That's how it is about every year Oh, impolite! We are not amused! Noel, Noel, of joyous day when we sleep, we eat the most. Old Santa Claus has just forgot. But we are here and we will stay. No Christmas pudding for us. I guess I wasn't so hot. No, it's my carol that was no good. Oh, yes, it was. It was wonderful. Orson and Olivia are right. You were all of you fabulous. It's my very best Christmas ever. But now other triumphs await. I belong to my public. Now it's farewell. <laughs> Au revoir. Goodbye, Goodbye Ellie. Ellie. Merry Christmas. So we don't get any Christmas pudding. Here you are, Perface. It's for you. A pudding? Well, thanks, mister. But how'd you know my name? I know the names of all poor children. So what's your name, then? Charles Dickens. Come on. Enjoy your pudding with your friends. Merry Christmas, children. Look! A pudding! Yeah, Mr. Dickens gave it to us. Charles Dickens? That's him! He's been dead for 20 years! Huh? In the words of my master, Charles Dickens, a Christmas with no pudding is like a mug with no beer! <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs>